everyone, it's Nephi Anderson backstage at 106 in Park with the ultimate hit maker, M -m 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 Mike Will made it. How are you? Damn, you might you might have to have the new tag. Yeah. You might have to get a new tag, man. Have her do the new tag, man. Yes, I'm, I'm about that. <laughs> M -m 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 Mike Will made it. First of all, I want to just start off on congratulating you on all of your success. I mean, I'm so inspired. You are just doing it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. So tell us, when did you first realize that you wanted to become a producer? Do you remember the age? Um, Probably around like 13 or 14. Wow. Yeah. And what was that moment that you said, you know, like, this is what I think that I want to do? Um, When I started making money. <laughs> when I started making money. When I had a lot of mixtape tracks, I almost quit because I, I wasn't getting any money, but I was getting, I had like 20, 30 songs in the street. You know what I'm saying? But then I was like, yo... When I realized how to get money and I realized how to move it around and I realized like I had to take my sound to the next level and different things like that, I'm like, okay, I can make a living off of this, you know what I'm saying? And I never thought I'd get to the point where, you know what I'm saying, I'm charging how much I'm charging for a track now and being able to take care of my mom, move my mom in a big house, being able to travel when I want to and take care of things when I want to, so. Wow, so you're definitely getting paid for your gifts and your talent and that is always a great thing. Do you have any mentors within the industry? Uh, yeah, I, I would say Puff, I would say Juicy J, you know what I'm saying? People like that, like, they always kept it 100 with me since I met them. Um, and then Jimmy Iovine, of course, my manager, DJ, uh, you know, like, people like that, you know what I'm saying? And then I got, I got well, you know what I'm saying? Then I got other people, you know what I'm saying, outside the industry and, and stuff that, that, you know what I'm saying, keep me grounded and, you know what I'm saying, keep me focused and stuff too, so. I, mean, I got a lot of people, man, that, that I would call like mentors and different things like that. But you can learn from anybody, like you know what I'm saying. I learned a lot from Miley, you know what I'm saying. Just like Miley learns a lot from me, you know what I'm saying. So it's like in future, you know what I'm saying. Future like my brother, so it's like man, I talk to him a lot. So I mean, I learn from everybody, man. I'm all ears. So I guess since you you brought it up, can you share something that you learned from Miley Cyrus that you can apply to who you are or how you do business? Um, I mean a lot of stuff, man. Like a lot of stuff, like. As far as like the way, you know what I'm saying, I'm moving, how I gotta be choicy and don't just, you know what I'm saying, just get moved around, you know what I'm saying, get moved around the industry and, and, and be like, you know what I'm saying, a puppet, like, you know what I'm saying, like, take care of your craft, media is gonna say whatever, because at first I, I never got all this media attention and different things like that, and, and they'll make up whatever about you, you know what I'm saying, so don't pay that stuff no attention, and it's more, it's more so about the music. For her, like, I don't have to change my sound up, like, to be working with a pop chick or anything like that. Like, she, she's a fan of my music, you know what I'm saying? She's one of the biggest pop stars it is. So it's like, man, her being a fan of my music and her, you know what I'm saying, loving what I do, and then us being able to come with a sound and create that sound and put out an album like Bangers, and you know what I'm saying, having so many different feeling type songs and different, you know what I'm saying, like emotions on the, on the album and, you know what I'm saying, different things like that, it's just like, like, that's just so organic, and that, and that just showed me, like, man, okay, boom, you don't have to, you know, chase this sound or chase the quote-unquote pop sound. Like, y'all can come with a, you can come with a new sound with an artist and really take off, you know what I'm saying? That's awesome. I think that is definitely something that we all can learn from Miley, even me, myself. I love her because she's unique, and you yeah. can hate on her all you want, but she stays true to who she is, and yeah. that's something, there's something that has to be said about that. Yeah, she, she's actually a real person, you know what right. I'm saying? She's actually a real rock star. And she doesn't try to like um, fabricate herself or put herself together for anybody, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that she does that, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Like that's 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 real dope. And then um, you know what I'm saying? She just herself, and she's just making people accept herself.